Yeah, it's not about your decision to come back, and, and I guess you got one more year left of college football, right? So you're yes, coming sir. back for another season. Just how? Why was it important for you to come back and, and finish your career at UCF? Uh, I, you know, I've been here for a while. I'm a familiar face. I, mean, I haven't did anything I want to do yet. So that's just just to keep the story short. Like I'm just on a revenge tour. You got a new uh, position coach with. Tim Harris coming in here. What has he been able to provide for you guys? What have you noticed that stood out about how he spoke with you guys? How uh, you guys got prepared? Uh, obviously, uh, he was here before, so this is his second stint. Uh, he wasn't coaching the receivers before, but uh, I kind of knew him. He's a familiar face. Um, you know, uh, he just, I, I feel like he brings another level of dog to the room. Like he, he just bringing out the dog and out of everybody in our room. Just He just up in everybody's play overall. You mentioned being on the revenge tour. Like, how much of that is last year's performance from the team trying to bounce back from that? How much of that challenge is the junior face? What, what, what part of that are you drawing from? Uh, when I reference the revenge tour, like, um, I, don't get me wrong, I'm a team guy, but this is more personal. This is more personal to me, like, just some of the goals that I have and just proving who, proving everybody who I am. What does he want to show us that you can do? Uh, I'm an all-around receiver, but I haven't really got to show anything yet. So, like, I'm just trying to just take the world by storm. Uh, right now, uh, I'm just just proving myself, really. I'm an older guy, I'm a vet. I'm just trying to show some of the younger guys, uh, trying to lead the way. Uh, I'm trying to become more of a vocal leader now, just stuff like that. Talk about being a vocal leader, there's a lot of young guys in the wide receiver room. Yeah. How have you really helped them uh, since they got to campus in January? Uh, a lot of them, like, like I said, they're supposed to be in high school still, so their head's kind of spinning, you know, with the new playbook, even if it's just, just learning where to go, different periods to practice and stuff like that. So just little, little things, like they're all good players, they're all here for a reason. Uh, I'm just just here to give a little punch. Jared, I, what, what do you want to show this spring? And you mentioned the revenge tour, there's a wide open opportunity, you know, a lot of the attention will be on the receiver spot, with obviously Javon moving on and everything and, and all that stuff. So what do you want to try to show, maybe including in, in this upcoming scrimmage on Saturday too? Uh, I want to show why they brought me here. I like ain't never really got to show why they brought me here and what type of player I am, so and, and what I can actually bring to the table for the receivers. Like uh, we have, we, we've had a lot of good guys coming here. Like I was here with Gabe, Marlin, uh, Javon last year, Kobe, just some of those guys. So I feel like everybody got to see, you know, their game. I ain't really even got to show my game at all. What have you seen from the team's offense through in practice? Like, what stood out to you the most? Uh, so far, just, just uh, KJ, KJ, just we're all trying to get together behind KJ right now. You know, with John moving on, so we're all just just trying to put the pieces together. We got a younger team this year, especially in the receiver room. So we're just trying to put the pieces together right now. It seemed like a, like a big dynamic on the offense, like a, like a new change of speed with KJ and the quarterback. How, how is that like a change? Uh, you, well, with a guy, we're moving on from a guy like uh, John Rice. Uh, I, I don't really, I haven't seen really, we haven't done much live stuff yet with KJ. So it's just, like I haven't really got to see the change of speed yet, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be a little different. Talk about you, know, you want to show some things that you haven't been able to show here. Like what? Like what? Do, what do you want to be known for? Like they've got good hands, good speed. Like what, what do you, What do you want to be known for as a wide receiver? Uh, I, I don't really want to be known for just one thing. I just I, I want to be known like as a headache really for a DB. Like anybody lining up across from me, I just want to know like you're just gonna have a long day. Like and I don't want to be known for just speed or just route running or just my hands or something like that. I'm just I want to be a complete receiver and. This being my last year, going through it all, I feel like I kind of been piecing, piecing together every year, every year, every year. So I finally, got, I feel like I'm to the point where they're like, it's kind of all together. We're really fighting. We're really fighting. Really. You know, we're gonna go up and pick for the ball. We're gonna block. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna talk our talk. We're gonna do whatever we want. We got to get the game. We're talking about fighting. You guys have to have an attitude, kind of like this. Is that kind yes, sir, yes, sir. Uh, like, we just kind of pride ourselves on like uh, we can't lose. Like there's no such thing as a 50 50 ball, more of an 80 20 ball with us. We just got a little slide into it. You know, we kind of try to keep that up. And we're trying to, we're trying to keep the coaches like, We got a lot of young guys coming in the room. So we kind of just trying to give the coach room. And I've been here for a little while, and that's always been the coach room. So whether it was Gabe Davis or Marlon Williams or Brandon Johnson or Ryan O'Keefe, some of those guys, I've been, I've been here for so I kind of know the coach. That's a good one. This program has developed some really good wide receivers over the last five years. And you've been, you've 
think that around those guys is what is it about the program that helps maybe get guys to want to get to that next level or maybe get anywhere? Uh, I feel like just coming to UCLA, it's exactly what I thought it was. Uh, we're going to bring the best out of you. Whatever is so far, I've, I've been here with the coach with Coach Height era and then Coach Gus Marzano era. But, through and through, both times, all the coaches, they're going to try to bring the best out of you. And I feel like that's, that's this. That's why I came here. They're going to they're coach you. They're going to coach you hard. And, and overall, it's going to be good. Riddell is one of the young guys that everyone keeps talking about has stood out so far. What have you seen with him? And, and when you get a young guy who comes in, you talk about guys who have been in. What, what's your advice to them? What do you, what do you think? Get him maybe to get the feet grab uh, Nah, uh, like I said, those younger guys, they're here for a reason. Like everybody, a guy like Riddell, uh, he's been showing some flag for sure, for sure. So um, just staying calm, you know, you know what you're doing, just getting your play, learn your play. As soon as you learn your plays, everything ain't gonna slow down. But nah, he's been showing some good flags. I think he's gonna be a good player. Your, your, your journey's been a, a, a unique one, obviously. Yeah, it's it's not, so when you're talking to these young guys, you're telling me, it's just a lot. You've got that unique perspective to say, hey, you know, it may not all go as well as like you think. So, how much does that help you guys? I mean, having different perspectives on your team. Uh, it's good. It's good because we got we got players like uh, Kobe Hudson. He's been he's been with us. He started as a freshman over there at Auburn. So you got that look, and then you got a guy like or even Ed. He played he played a lot as a freshman. He, didn't, he might need to start, but you got that look just. Ex play behind a guy like Ryan O'Keefe, so he learned. And then you got somebody who like me, who I, I've been through one ACL, and then the very next year, the other ACL. And just going through something like that, did a position change. So just kind of giving the young guys some of my adversity. Just showing them, like, if you keep going, this is, this is what I haven't really got what I want to get, but they can see my success. Like, I'm going to feel in that practice. So just, you know, just kind of showing them. Like, it can go either way, but it's always nothing. Yes, man. Thank you. Sure. Good talk. Uh, I think just perfecting like a day like this, a day like today, like third third down day uh, two days ago, the defense kind of you know, beat up on us. We didn't work too much, but today I feel like uh, we took a step. Especially in KJ, we're, we're all just trying to get on the same page with KJ, so we took a big step. Well, and, and when I when I when I played, I was in the O line. I felt like I had a front line seat to you, skill guys, John, all the time. I heard about that in practice. Everybody's having fun with it. How much does that a make it more fun, and b how much does that help? Create a, a live situation in practice. Uh, it's gonna be like that. It's been like that since I've been here at UCL because we bring in so many good guys. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's, defense might run a rep today. We might run a rep, and then our room is so feisty. So we gonna we gonna talk our talk. They gonna talk their talk. So it, it, it makes the game fun. Well, even the coaches get it too. That's what I noticed too. It's a good atmosphere. Yes, sir.